Savage Dream Anders. Welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. This is season six, and hopefully I don't die, but I spawned Yeti Heal. This is the first thing I saw. Yeti over here. Hardcore Minecraft, there's already enemies over there. Let's hopefully we can make it past episode one. No chance. And well, I got out of the stupid little hole over there where I spawned in. And uh, this is actually a nice, nice looking world. Got a little mountain going on over there. Got some, some jungle over there. Forest over here. First things first is I need at least a little bit. Drop the seeds so the chickens don't follow me. I hate those little things. I have some in real life. They, they literally like poop everywhere. They poop on the ground. They poop in the water. They poop, poop in the poop. They poop on the food. Poop where they sleep. They poop on each other. I hate chickens. I hate them. But they poop eggs. So that kind of makes up for it. Okay, we have a small amount of wood. It is vital that we find a village. That's, that's like, you know, step one, bury your surroundings. Step two, grab wood. Step three, find village. And if we don't find a village, um, or three sheep, for that matter. There's a sheep. Oh, there's three sheep! Ah, oh, yes. Now, normally, I would never, ever make a wooden sword, but this is the exception, is, is three sheep. Because these three sheep will keep us alive forever. Because they will be able to make us a bed. These three sheep, their their nice bloody the bloody wool will be able to be able to make us make us a bed. There was I saw a red a red uh, a flower over there. So we actually make it a bloody bed. And well, this only you know takes three, so that's kind of an issue, but. To alleviate this issue, we'll also do another very vital thing is a boat for Hardcore Minecraft. Because boats, bam, you got to deal with the baby zombie, bam, place that down, they're, they're no longer bothering you. Wow. One red die, one bed, one red bed from the bloody sheep. We put the blood of the sheep into, into the bed. Wow. Okay, now we need to find a village. The best way to find a village um, probably is to uh, just build straight up or go to the mountain. I think going to the mountain is probably our best bet. I should probably stop running so I don't run out of food. You can starve to death in hardcore. So maybe, maybe I should start just like, you know, killing some chickens. If I get sick from eating the chicken, that'll be fine. I, I don't really care. You know, getting sick is good for you. Um, can confirm, that's what the doctors say. LIAR! The more you get sick, the better your immune system gets. Unless you got an autoimmune disease, then 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 you'll probably just end up dying. Okay, that's the cold I saw. I got a little distracted, jumped down because I'm used to having no consequences to my actions while playing this game. But now there's like every consequence to your actions is one piece of coal. I, I lost one and a half heart for one piece of coal. Okay, I do not see any villages over there, which is not good. Villages are necessary for survival because they have food. What is this? This is a valley. We're making a base hill right in the middle of the valley. This is like base central. Like this is this is, looks great. Like build up some castle walls around. You probably have like a giant gulag that you know we could risk falling into all the time. Because you know it's not really Minecraft if you don't risk yourself dying constantly. Oh really? Um, I'm gonna walk around see see if there's a, a village nearby. And if there's not, I'm gonna grab some of those melons and start marching down. I hold a skeleton. I do not want to fight anything. I am naked. I am bare. My cheeks are flying in the wind. I don't got any armor. Okay, there's no villages on this side. This is not good. I don't particularly want to do a whole lot of slavery this time. Because I did last time, I did a whole bunch of trading. And that's pretty much the only thing that I did was trading. Oh yeah, eating jaw chicken, yes. Oh yeah, this is this is healthy. This is what the doctor recommends. If you don't eat your chicken jaw, um, you're going to get gingivitis. Can conform. Okay, I do not see any at all uh, villages. This is not good. This is a really bad development. That's an enemy nearby. No, oh, I could take him. Those are those things you say right before death. I do not have a bucket. If I die, I'm dead. Ooh, there's iron down here. We need... I don't have enough wood because I used up my last bit of wood very, very poorly by making an extra crafting bench. 
But I make crafting benches like I'm blind to them. So if I can't see a crafting bench, make a crafting bench. Okay, going down there is going to be a little bit dangerous. You don't want to be in the danger zone. So that means we need upgrades. Getting an upgrade, yes, exactly. Game knows what's up. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit dark, but this is exactly the reason why we got a bed. Okay, there we are. First night, we got some own tools. We're all ready to start getting iron. Okay, pick up the bed because, you know, you're not, never going to respawn. So there's no real point in placing down a permanent bed until you get your base started. And even then, having a permanent bed is kind of like pointless. There we are. Nine iron. Which is actually fantastic. Okay, I'm afraid of something sneaking up behind me. So I'm going to place a boat right there. And if anything does sneak up behind me, you'll all get stuck in the boat. And if it's not a creeper, I'll be fine. Okay, I got some coal. I can leave that coal there. I think I, the 40, 41 is plenty for right now for what I need of it. Um, let's get back up to the top side. If we don't find any villages, I'll just, I'll probably just start, uh, you know, doing some melon farms. Cause I got, I got nine, uh, what's it called? Nine iron. Nine iron is, you know, it's enough to get a bucket. It's really all I need. And some tools. Definitely need some uh, iron armor. That'll help me survive easier and better. Oh, look at that. The new wolf variants. Maybe we could get wolves to protect us. I'm too close to where I want to make my base to be able to kill these uh, these cows. Because that's how I play Minecraft. If your cows are too close to where you want to make your base, you can't kill them. Because you need them. Unless you got a cow farm. But what is on the agenda to kill is all these sheep. We can commit genocide against the sheep. We don't believe in sheep peoples. If you you're a sheep, if you don't if you follow the crowd, uh, you'll you'll get killed off because you're stupid and don't know how to think for yourself. Okay, there is absolutely no villages around. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do do a little hack. Uh, not really a hack. It's more like a uh, a big brain move. I go into options. Go to video settings. Render distance 28, 32. I can get that extra four render distance. Everything's gonna reload back in, and there's I can see a cherry tree over there. That's that's what that. There's a village over there. See that? Uh, the hack. Bam. We are going to go to that village over there and uh, quickly look at my coordinates. It's like 300, 200, uh, positive, negative. So one thing I want to do with this series versus the last one, this season versus the last season, is uh, no no village or um, breedle. Because that is, I think in my mind, is kind of cheaty. Um, you should be able to, the only villagers that we are allowed to get are ones naturally spawned in. So every villager will have to be stolen. As is meant to be. So instead of doing what the Americas did in the Triangle Slave Trade, we're going to be doing what the Caribbean did. If they die, we got to get new ones. We can't just breed more of them. Okay, now we are at the village, and now it's time to plunder. I'm going to take literally everything that I can from this place. There's a small chance they got diamonds. I've gotten I've gotten diamonds on Hardcore Minecraft twice before in the first episode, or, or from a village, not the first episode. Once from a, the first episode. Man, do you guys know how to farm? Are you guys like retarded or something? Kill your cows, because it, they're not even cows. They're, they're pink cows. But uh, I kill your animals so you can't reproduce your food. Your cats can stay alive because they're gonna, you know, keep your rats out. I'm okay with that. Oh, look at that. Compasses. Yes. And bread. We could use this bread immediately. I'm eating your bread. This was your lunch. Your lunch is now being eaten in front of your face. How does that make you feel? Huh? Are we the baddies? You steal all the food stock sold supplies because they don't need to make more food. And we're also gonna just like get rid of all of this as well because um, we don't want them growing food at all. Like all this gone. We don't want them eating food. Okay, we want them starving. We want them weak so that when we take them, we'll easily able to take. Ooh, is these melon seeds? Yeah, they are. Okay, it's time to become nighttime. You can see the sun setting over there. And now we can do the uh, suspicious hand. Why is the hand though? Where are your fingers? And what was my hand doing? You may never know. So, um, it is, uh, really hot where I'm at, and, uh, I did, I did a few video testings before I started recording today, which is really a good thing, otherwise I probably would not have any audio playing right now, but, um, 
I it was so hard to see how how loud my fans are and see if I could be able to get away with having my fans on while I'm playing Minecraft. However, um, I don't have any of my fans on because they are they're too loud. They're they're gonna make too much of a noise. So I I am actually like booning to death right now in sitting in my room. It's like 80 degrees outside. It's not as bad as yesterday when it was like you know like 97. But 90 degrees outside and it's getting pretty hot in my room. I don't have my fans on. And I'm planning on doing, you know, a fairly long recording. I don't know how, how long I want to play for. You know, I'm going to stop doing the, uh, you know, I'm going to play for an hour. I'm just going to play for as long as I want to. Because if I feel like, if I have the motivation to record, I might as well record as much as I want. Especially right now with me walking, being a fully functioning member of society. Oh, horses. You always got to kill the horses. Horses deserve death. Constantly. And always. I love their screams too, don't you guys? Nope. The screams of the horses as they die are the best part of Minecraft. Okay, I've almost uh, taken over this environment. Not taken over, but like, you know, you know, destroyed the entire uh, stock of food supply. Um, killing all the nearby animals, stealing you know, all of their, all of their, uh, their plants and putting salt into the ground because that's because we hate them you know they they're not they're not human they they're animals they're even human savages savages villagers in minecraft are effectively animals but i like to call them slaves anyways cuz they look humanoid i hate how they plant these like why you know you know you could go like a full entire floor out from those like, at least the other villages do it like organized this village just like has everything laying out Bear to see like they're naked or something. Oh no, they got a they got a farmer replanting their, their stuff. No, you're not allowed to. You can become jobless. You're fired. Get out of here. Okay, now we're going back that way to our mountain. Okay, there's a zombie, and I could probably I don't have my bone anymore. Well, I just lost my major safety device. But anyways, we can still continue and fight this zombie. We we have the high ground, so we're gonna tell tell them to not try it. And they just went down there. They were, they were a big dummy. Instead of mining, I should just place down blocks. Okay, now he's coming over towards me. And uh, his pathfinding is totally messed up. He cannot hit me from this spot because he is a big dummy. I think it might be coming nighttime. I kind of made this cave hole right here. And we're doing another suspicious hand again. Just don't don't, don't be thinking about what, what's going on when, when you see that. Unless you know. If you know, you know. Ah, and here it is. This... This is where we're gonna call home. That's a creeper over there. We gotta stay clear. Anyways, let's get distracted and chop down this tree. A few moments later. Oh no, that's a creeper! Oh man. Oh, that could that could have been it right there. There's another creeper over there. Okay, let's get down into the valley before before I die. That could have that could have been end of the episode right there, but it wasn't. I I quickly click quickly ran away. Oh, look at that. The main level of, of our valley is at 69. Nice. Okay, I stole, I stole some chests from the uh, the village. I'm just going to place them down right now. Temporarily, this is temporary as well. They're not going to be here the entire time for this series. Unless I, unless I die soon. I hear a zombie somewhere. Hopefully it's not a phantom zombie inside of a cave nearby. So that would be annoying. I get annoying really fast. Okay, here's the iron. Now, now we can be able to make a bucket. It's too bad there's no like actual real water supplies around nearby. But what we do have is that we have a water source there and a water source there. So we can definitely be able to get an infinite water source. I would like to replace... Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't replace these, these watering holes. Oh, there's another watering hole over there. Okay. Okay, I've removed a whole bunch of grass because I absolutely hate the tall grass in this game. I think it looks terrible. You play Minecraft just to mow the damn lawn. But anyways, I think over here should be like a, a good spot to just to start, you know, placing down, plop, and then plop, 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 and place down some more, you know, so get some get some good farming going in. And then and then we can, you know, place down some seeds, just like so. This is the best way to place down seeds. Don't don't ask me why. It, you know, I saw something about the internet on it. You know, this this is the best way to place down seeds. Um, oh, I see what it is now. Is it a, is it a bad time that I that I'm joining? FBI, open up! Yeah, 
And the villagers, they're, they're definitely not uh, Jews or anything, but we're definitely, probably, um, maybe, going to be going around to all the villagers, rounding them up, taking them away, and putting them down into uh, a, a, a shower. I hear a skeleton. No. No, skeletons are too dangerous. Hold on. Let me get this iron. Okay, skeletons are too much. How do I, how do I make a freaking shield? Oh no, I gotta go into the recipe book like a noob. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay. Don't ever go into the recipe book again. That was that was absolutely disgusting. I hate that I had to do that. Only noobs go into the recipe book. And I just went into the recipe book. Cannot rest, there's monsters new. There's definitely a cave nearby. I've definitely gotta deal with that because I, I definitely need to be able to sleep effectively. Oh, there's, there's a holiday hill. You know, I bet you if I go down there, there's gonna be there's gonna be some monsters. And I'll be able to get rid of the, my, my noise issues. Okay, something I learned from my last uh, hardcore series. But you always gotta plan a good escape route if everything goes sour. That's how the warden killed me last time. Oh, that was spoilers if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen my uh, season 5 hardcore series, you should definitely go, go, and, go and check it out. Okay, so far, so good. I haven't seen any enemies. Um, I, I say that now, but uh, ooh, there's iron. I need that. I need that desperately. I say that now that there's no mobs, but like probably here in a second, I might I might see one, and then then it's time to hit tails and run, if if I really think so. But iron iron is a super necessity right now. I need armor, and I need armor desperately. But the best way to deal with caves, I don't know why there's any mob spawning. I'm actually quite lucky for this. Like seriously, there's zero mobs here. Gone through a good chunk of this cave zero enemies not that i'm complaining it just doesn't smell right and then i start to smell them so it's like a smell that tastes like other you know what i mean there's the enemies okay now we turn our tails and run place down as many torches see enemies go away because um they will sneak up on you and kill you like the stuff up above me, that's that's super dangerous because a creeper could just jump down, bam, dead. You kind of look out over there, and um, it, is there, there's a chance it might be nighttime. It's not nighttime, but I was totally gonna sleep if it was nighttime, just because you know you never really want it to be uh, nighttime this early in this game because uh, you'll you'll just end up dying. Oh no, I was a skeleton. Oh no, I don't believe in fighting skeletons. Oh jeez, I hate them. These these are my nemesis. Like that's two and a half hearts right there. Like, oh man. Oh, that's a zombie. Oh dude, if I didn't have the shield, I'd be dead right now. Okay, we're we're going back. This is too much too much hostile god for today. I have had closer calls in hardcore Minecraft before and survived. But obviously I ended up dying because it was we're on season six. Oh boy, we got an entire six iron from that mining chip. Wow. But we got like in another stack of coal. A little bit more than that actually. So I've been playing uh bedrock recently. I'm on Java right now, but I've been playing bedrock recently. Disappointed And uh, just to be able to be able to play with my friends a lot easier but there's something that's in Java that I'm really glad that I have back again that's not in Bedrock. And it's a very, very simple thing. If you go to the crafting table, you're able to hold shift and click. And it goes into the crafting table. I use this constantly. If I did use this, if I, if I don't have access to this, it's like, oh, my crafting is so slow. So I was just chopping down some wood, as you know, you do in Minecraft. And I had a, a really, really bad idea. And you know how earlier said I could make walls around there? What if instead of walls, I just made a huge tower that goes up? And, you know, you'd think that'd be a great idea, but except for the fact of how much resources that cost. I've done smaller towers, and, like, more more than double those just, like, full, just, just of the resources to build it up. That's not out or any details or any of that. That's just up. But we can do it. If I will make a giant hole down here while doing it too. We might end up using the new tough block and everything. You know, tough, deep slate, and normal stone all together for, for, for a nice tower build. And the main level here could be like, like 69, which is that level over there. 
and that could be like the main, you know, part of the entire base. We could also have like a gulag in the middle somewhere over there, or just a little round, round spot. Uh, you know, it's totally dangerous. You'd probably fall into it if you're not paying attention. It's totally, totally a thing that could happen. Uh, if you're not paying attention, fall down into the instant death. But I'm not gonna fall down though, because I'm I'm a Minecraft pro. Right. Well, I'm absolutely boring up inside of my house right now, inside my view. So I'm I'm gonna let you go. This is this is episode one of season six. If you guys want to see more, please actually watch this and uh, leave a like and comment down below. It'd be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>